Hello and welcome to my channel, It's a Tailored Life. My name is Taylor and in today's video, I'm going to be cleaning all of the spaces that I have been neglecting around the house, just all of these hidden messes that I've been hiding behind doors, closet areas. I'm going to be deep cleaning my pantry. I'm also going to be deep cleaning the refrigerator. I'm going to be deep cleaning just all the spaces that I don't clean on an everyday. I like to do this when the seasons change, but I also really like to do this before the holidays just because I do have family coming into town and I feel like when things are organized and just have a really good deep clean, it makes it so much easier to keep the house clean. So I'm going to be focusing on all of those areas today, just all of the spaces that I don't touch every day that should be touched, but also some hidden messes that I have been hiding, like closets and things like that. So first we are going to start in the kitchen and there's a little bit of mess in the kitchen, but I'm not gonna worry about that right away. I'm gonna clean that up after right now. I want to get started in my pantry. My pantry is a disaster. I cleaned and organized it a while back, but things just got really out of control in here and need to be reorganized and like purged and cleaned out. I'm also going to deep clean my refrigerator. Now, if you are not new to my channel, you know I clean my refrigerator every week. Right before I do a grocery shop, I will just kind of pull things out, move things around and give it a good wipe down. But in today's video, I'm actually gonna pull everything out and actually give it a really good deep clean. So first, let's go ahead and get started by pulling everything out of the pantry so that we can get this space cleaned up. And before we get too deep into the video, I would like to just take a quick second to introduce myself. My name is Taylor. I'm a wife and a stay-at-home mom. I have two boys. My older son, Jackson, just turned eight years old, and I have a two-year-old named Lincoln. I love making cleaning motivation videos. There is always mess going on in my house, so I am always cleaning. So I definitely love making cleaning motivation videos. I also like to do some home decor and just like homemaking style videos. If you like that type of stuff, definitely please consider subscribing. I would love to have you. And if you are not new here, thank you so much for returning. I appreciate it so much. I'm in love with all your lights and your colors. I'm in love with all your nights. But you've kept me far away from my focus. Okay, so I have and all of these empty. I still have stuff up here, but I don't really have any space to take that stuff down like this stuff is all from there and up on the counters are full so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe these down I'm gonna clean this floor really good um, I'm gonna go through everything that I pulled out organize it put it all back once I organize them put it all back I'll probably have a home for a lot of this stuff so I can like you know bring it down put it wherever it needs to go and then I'll clean those two shelves up there but for right now I just need to get started with going through this stuff anything that's expired that we haven't eaten getting rid of, rid of it or anything that my kids aren't eating that's not expired I have a neighbor who I normally share food with like me and her kind of trade back and forth whatever her kids don't eat she gives to me whatever my kids don't eat I give to her so I'm just gonna go through this pull out what I can and then put it all back. So 
So as I was reorganizing and putting everything back into the pantry, I was trying to be very thoughtful in how I organize things because I want it to be super functional. I feel like the more functional the uh, pantry is, the easier it will be to keep it organized and neat. So I just was kind of really considering where I'm putting these cans, what things I am putting back into the cabinet, just to make sure that I don't have to deal with the same mess a month from now. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start to take some stuff down from this shelf because I'm clearing up some space. I got some space up here. So, and I'm just trying to figure out how to use these baskets. Like, I put the breakfast stuff in here, but the syrup is thick, and that's all that I have. And I just feel like that's not the best use for this basket. So, I don't know. I'm gonna come up with something. But for now, I'm gonna just take out that shelf. So this is where we are so far. It is looking really good. I'm gonna go ahead and do the snack shelf. I do the snacks on the bottom because this is where my kids can reach. So I'm gonna do this and then we'll work on up here. all right so we are mostly done it's looking all good and clean and organized i just need to get down here and clean this floor because i do have so i got a bunch of mess down here that i gotta get rid of like we got empty boxes that's empty boxes over there these are not empty so like the box of popcorn and the box of cereal i'm going to store those down here on the bottom like um this stuff stores on the bottom but i need to clean the floor first before i put anything down there so it's looking good just wanted to give y'all an update i just threw this stuff up here so it's kind of random but not random but it still looks good very neat organized up here same thing just very neat and organized it looks so much better than it did earlier so let's get started with the floor 
So I know my pantry is not super aesthetically pleasing. Well, I wouldn't call it aesthetically pleasing at all. Um, that is because I have to do what's functional for me and my family. I don't have a lot of storage space in my kitchen. This pantry is just about all I have and I do have some cabinet space, but not a whole lot. So I don't have a lot of space for overflow. So if I put all of our items into really cute containers, any overflow that I may have, I won't have anywhere to store it. Uh, it'll just kind of be stored somewhere else, like trying to hide it. So for me, it just works better to have things stored the way that they are. Um, it's super easy for me to see things and find things this way. So that is why I don't have a lot of cute, like really cute containers and things like that. But this is the pantry all done. Everything is all put away and organized. It looks so much better to me. I absolutely love it. I feel like it's super functional for me and my family. Like it's definitely gonna work. And I'm hoping it stays like this for a very long time. Now I'm gonna move on to cleaning up some more in the kitchen. What I wanna do next is to empty out the um, dishwasher. The dishes in here were clean, but because I know I wanna clean out the refrigerator, anytime I clean out the refrigerator, I try to make sure the sink is empty and the dishwasher is also empty. So if I have any containers um, with like leftovers or any produce containers in the refrigerator, when I take those out, I have a place to put them. Like I hate cleaning out the refrigerator and there's just a bunch of like mess all around. So that is why also after I clean the pantry, I got rid of anything that I had left out that I needed to give to my neighbor. I went ahead and I put that in my car so that I could take that straight to her. Um, any like trash we had or anything that was expired, which we didn't have a lot. I got rid of those things though. Like I did get rid of that stuff so that I can have a clean space to work with so that I can clean out the refrigerator. So fortunately my shelves were not too messy because like I said I do like to wipe these down with like a disinfecting wipe or some type of disinfecting spray about once a week just to kind of help keep the mess down. Cleaning the refrigerator is probably one of my least favorite chores. <laughs> I don't know why like taking all the pieces apart and just like pulling out the drawers and washing them it gets really messy so I always try to avoid doing it and the way that I avoid doing it is just by cleaning it more often. When I pull these drawers out, you guys will see why it's still so important to deep clean the fridge because this mess was so disgusting. I had no idea this is going on down here. And like I said, I clean in here every week, but because I don't pull the drawers out very often, I guess there was just like mess dripping that I had not seen. So I was really happy that I did go ahead and pull them all out. Like I'm lost in 
So the refrigerator is pretty similar to the pantry. It's not super aesthetically pleasing, like I said, but it is just clean and organized. I don't buy a lot of groceries at once because I try not to waste food. So I only buy like what we need as needed. So that is why it looks kind of empty because I try to split my grocery shopping into two parts of the week. I go on Sunday and on Wednesday. So I don't have a whole lot to store in here. I just like to keep it really neat and clean looking and that is like good enough for me. Now once I finished the, with the refrigerator, I wanted to move on to cleaning the oven. Now if you are not new to my channel, you know I deep cleaned my oven about, I wanna say maybe about three to four months ago. And I like to just do this per periodically. Now, because I use the Method Degreaser Spray, what I do is I spray that on, let it sit for about five minutes, and then I go in with a scrub daddy and scrub it out. Now, this degreaser spray is so good. It gets up so much like stuck on food and just like any burnt spots, it helps get those off really easily. So that is why like I don't mind cleaning the oven very often once I discovered this product. It's so easy to use like I literally let it sit come in scrub really quickly wipe it all out and I will wipe it clean with like a wet washcloth just to um like wipe away any ex excess product you'll see I'm gonna wipe it down a few times just to try and make sure that I get it all out and then I'm all done so cleaning the oven is like super easy to do Just to breathe, yeah, I need that Take it all in now, I see now another spot that gets neglected I feel like is our trash can in our kitchen so I wanted to give this a really good clean now I actually do spray our trash can down with microband pretty often because I do have a toddler who still wears diapers and we have stinky diapers so I try to keep it smelling really good because sometimes like really bad odors can get trapped inside but every once in a while I do like to go in and just give this like a really good deep clean and like disinfect it to make sure there are no germs or bacteria that is holding like any bad scents onto it and when I'm cleaning the inside of the trash can I make sure that I clean the top um, and the outside also now we have a trash can that opens when you wave your hand over it or if you put anything over it, it will automatically open so I didn't want to spray too much product on that because I don't want to get the insides of it wet but I did just wipe that down with a disinfecting wipe and now we are moving on to the microwave now I don't use my microwave a lot I mostly reheat our food on the stove but I did just want to give this a good cleaning too so I just use some Dawn dish spray to wipe this out. Now we are going to wipe down the cabinets in the kitchen. Now I wipe down my cabinets pretty often um, whenever I'm cleaning the kitchen, but I do not climb all the way on top of the counters like I did today because I just don't like standing up here very much, but I not really tall enough to clean all the way to the top of our cabinets even when I stand on a step stool. So every once in a while, I will just get up on the cabinets and make sure I'm getting all the way at the top. And I love to clean down my cabinets and just wipe down the walls like this. I feel like it helps the kitchen smell a lot better. I feel like sometimes when we're cooking, food smells can kind of just get like stuck to the walls and the cabinets. Like any splash grease or anything while you're cooking can get in these spaces that we don't clean often. So I like to just get up there every once in a while and make sure I wipe everything down and I feel like the kitchen smells so much better. For it cause I want you close I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering You know i do anything to be in your arms again So give me a sign Give me a sign 
Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talking to you. Talking to you. Here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in. So give me a sign. Go for this, no more tricks. We could take things slow. Say you think about it too. When the lights go out and there's no doubt that I should be with, that I should be. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going. No control. You push me, then you pull me back in. And now the kitchen is all clean. It feels so good knowing that the pantry is clean, the fridge is clean, the oven is clean, the microwave, like everything in the kitchen is actually like a really good deep clean. So now we are going to move to our bathroom linen closet. And you guys, this is just ridiculous. So I organized this about two years ago during, it was like, um, right around like COVID time. So I stored like a lot of our COVID supplies, like gloves, um, disinfecting wipes to go in the cars, mask, all of that stuff in here. And I also would store some cleaning products, but not a lot of cleaning products in here. And also our towels go in here and just like any little extra bathroom items that we may need. And this just got really ridiculous like I don't know what happened but over time it has gotten really messy and I don't know let me know in the comments is that normal for you guys like I feel like if I have an area in my house that gets really messy I can organize it but some way somehow over time the mess will just slowly come back <laughs> so I feel like that what that's what happens with like a lot of um like storage spaces in my house like they get messy again like even like a, dr a junk drawer in the kitchen I feel like growing up that was something that like once a year we always had to clean up so <laughs> I don't know I feel like that was what's going on with this space so I just pulled everything out I went through our baskets of like any products that I had that I was keeping in there and I took out anything that we weren't using but I did keep some stuff in there for storage, so I just neatly put those items back in there. All right, towel three stops. <laughs> this looks messy because I can't really reach up there very well. So later I'm gonna have my husband fix those for me. I just did my best to get them up there, but other than that, this closet is good to go. So now that we are done with that linen closet, I'm going to move into my bathroom, which is a mess right now, and it definitely needs to be all cleaned up. And I'm just gonna get this space all cleaned up. I'm not gonna clean my tub on camera because lately I've just been cleaning my tub like every other day right after I take a shower. But I am gonna put my rugs in the wash. And you guys, this is definitely like a smell good hack. When you are washing your bathroom rugs, I wash mine about once a week. I always make sure I put in a really good amount of scent beads and like a really good smelling fabric softener and a really good smelling laundry detergent. This will help your rug smell really good in your bathroom, which will help the bathroom smell even better. So now I'm just putting everything away that was left out in my bathroom on the counters. And I just wanted to, lately when I've been putting things away under the cabinet, I kind of open it all the way up to make sure that when I'm putting things away, I'm putting them back where they belong and not just like shoving them back in there. I've been trying really hard to keep these bathroom cabinets like really neat and organized and everything in the place that it belongs.
I'm thinking you were made for me. Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. Cause I got the system, my favorite things. You could be the pop where it all begins. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it. You could be a one of the things I love. Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door lock. I like everything that has a cherry on top. Get on my list of the things I love, love, love. You could be the one I trust. All the second chances, they are nothing for us. I like it all with the cherry on top. Be one of the things I love. We don't have to move so fast, baby. I will show you how you can catch my vibe and right away I so much time looping in the blurry light. So now we are going to clean the baseboards and the bathroom floor. Now I don't always clean my baseboards, but whenever I'm like scrubbing my bathroom floor, like with my hands, I do like to take this opportunity to just wipe down the baseboards in here and do my best to try and keep them clean. Because my bathroom is so small, when I do mop in here, sometimes it is really hard to reach like certain corners in certain areas. So every once in a while, I will just get down on my hands and knees and clean all around the bottom of the toilet just the back of the toilet spaces where it's really hard to get a mop back there and get it really clean and so I'll just do all of that by hand myself and then once I finish cleaning that by hand I am going to go back over the entire floor with the mop it's just before I get started I just wipe it down first Now my bathroom is all clean and I do have my window open in here because I live in South Florida and it's starting to cool down outside so I do enjoy opening the windows sometimes when we can just to let some fresh air in so I had the windows open while the bathroom floor was drying and also my rugs were still in the dryer so while I was waiting for those to finish up I decided to come in here and tidy up my boys bathroom now I had just deep cleaned their bathroom but there was mess in here from them getting ready for the day that they left behind so I decided to just go in myself and clean that up and just get this bathroom all cleaned up and put back together And now we are all done. My boy's bathroom is all cleaned up. And once I finished up in their bathroom, I did go back and put the rugs 
back down in my bathroom so my bathroom was totally clean I really hope you all enjoyed today's video if you did please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you have not done so already and I will see you all in the next video thank you bye